I ask for, for the grace to let go of my own concern and be open to what God is asking of me. Amen. Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for welcoming us into your homes and into your hearts. You're watching Online Praise Fest Live here on YouTube and Facebook. I am Joe Marie Badilla, and together with you for another spirit-filled, nourishing, and exciting worship. Shout out to, our, to all our brethren who are celebrating this weekend's Kapot for Christ anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. Also to all our brothers and sisters in Missionary Families of Christ. Happy, happy anniversary. We are also celebrating the, the Feast of the Sacred Heart. The Father's Day tomorrow here in the Philippines. Happy Father's Day to all our fathers. And... Uh, Tonight, today, tonight for some will be another opportunity for us to experience Jesus' moment again. And our Christmas leader is with us live from Yorba Linda in California. Brother Tofi is an auditor and lecturer at the University of California, Riverside. A loving husband to Sister Malu for 28 years and a proud father to Michelle and Isabella. They are our humble and dynamic leaders of Kapos for Christ USA. Friends, brothers, and sisters on Facebook and YouTube Live for Online Praise Fest, let's praise and worship with Brother Tofi Jeturian. Blessed greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Brother Tofi Jeturian, and with me are our gifted music ministry father-daughter tandem of Kiko and Celine Villanueva. And we are airing live here in Southern California in the USA. Now, as you can see on the right side, we already have a chat box. And you know it. You can see it. So we want to hear from you. You know, actually, God wants to chat with you. God is very high tech. He has the most updated, eternally virus-free laptop. Uh, may, maybe not an Apple. He, he did not have good experience with Apples, no? <laughs> but for starters, let us know. Type in happy anniversary, happy feast of um, Immaculate Conception, happy feast of uh, uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, happy Father's Day. Also, let us know what city or country you are praising from. Okay, we have from uh, Cavite, from Florida, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, all over the U.S., Bulacan in, in, in Manila and also... Anyway, let me start by talking about the year 1981. You know, many people do not consider 1981 a very good year. In fact, it was eerily similar to the first half of 2020. You know, in 1981, the AIDS virus was identified. In March 1981, members of the Ku Klux Klan in Alabama abducts, tortures, and kills a black 19-year-old Michael Donald. April 1981, in the predominantly black community of Brixton in South London, people or you know, police are attacked with bricks and stones. There is looting, some buildings destroyed by fire, unemployment, crime rates are higher, and police are disliked. Sounds familiar? This was 1981. And also in May 1981, Pope John Paul II is shot and seriously wounded. How is that connected to 2020? I will tell you later on. Then the bright spot came in June of 1981. God's gift of Couples for Christ was open. So to our CFC Global family, happy 39th anniversary. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Come on, let's make noise while muted. Okay, like that. it's okay. And happy anniversary greetings to our MFC uh, brethren as well. So 39 glorious years. What a great reason to celebrate and give praise. And to all of you joining us, you know, just welcome. Welcome to this, uh, to this online praise fest. But before we proceed, I would just like to praise God for, its, for, for inspiring this online praise fest team headed by Brother Joe Marie, allowing all of us here to participate and giving us the opportunity to do what we were all created to do by God as human beings, which is to praise God, reverence God, and serve God. And by doing this to save our souls, St. Ignatius. For although our praises add nothing to God's greatness, our praises profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. No, but I'm certain that the praise of God consoles the most sacred heart of Jesus, as well as the immaculate heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So this is companion feasts. 
But you know what? What is most important to Jesus and Mary is the condition of our hearts. How strong and fast it beats for love of Jesus. Because when you, like St. John the Beloved, get close to Jesus' chest, you are certain to hear his most sacred heart beating and saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I would still have died for you, even if you were the only person in this whole universe. So brothers and sisters, mute the world for now and all its distractions. Turn off your iPhone, iPad, iPod, iTouch, and focus only on the I am, the great I am. So if you have a great voice, sing loud. If you have a lousy voice that is way out of tune, sing louder. It's payback time. So let's get our hearts, our minds, our arms, our hands, our feet, our spirits, our whole beings in sync with our voices to sing and dance, giving praise to the God of love, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Prince of peace, who calls us to be holy as he is holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to the honor and glorify you, we magnify your holy name, Lord, King, Master, Savior, Yahweh, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Provider, Protector, Armor, Shield, our source of wisdom, peace, love, joy. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us this opportunity, Lord God, to come before you, to be able to praise you as you are worthy of our praise. Yes, Lord God, here in the United States, like the entire world, we just cannot ignore, Lord God, the havoc that has disrupted our lives brought by this pandemic. And now this social unrest all over the United States, but through all the pain and suffering, God in his usual mysterious yet masterful ways has continued this restoration work of holiness in our hearts, in our homes, and in our community. So we praise him, we thank him for all these and the many, many, many blessings 
that I encourage all of you to flood this chat box with right now. Have an attitude and grat of gratitude and, and give thanks to our God for whatever he has given, the blessings, the protection, that he guidance. Let's give it. He will see this. He will hear all these. So let's flood this with thanks, to th giving thanks to God. So Heavenly Father, all the, pa the pandemic has closed our places of worship and denied us the most blessed gifts of the sacraments. We still praise and thank you for opening our hearts to encounter you in much deeper ways, for giving us the initiative not just to pray, but to pray harder, even with this lockdown. Harder, H-A-R-D-E-R-H, -E -E the holy hour. We have the Ignatian spiritual exercises, A, adoration, even if we do it online. Our reconciliation through our daily examination of conscience. D, the divine mercy, the chaplet and the three o'clock prayer, the Eucharist, even daily, even if it's online, receiving you spiritually. And finally, R, the rosary, consecrating ourselves to our blessed mother. Heavenly Father, COVID-19 has shut down businesses, offices, and schools. But thank you, Lord, for bringing our families together to reconnect with one another to be blessed with the opportunity to break bread together, to share stories and dreams, show support in times of desolation, and more importantly, to pray together. We praise God and honor our many frontliners, the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers for their heroic sacrifices. But thank you also, Lord, for the other frontliners who, although they're not healthcare workers, our selfless brethren who continue to respond with sacrificial love to those most in need. Thank you to those who shared and delivered food, groceries, personal items to members and families on quarantine, provided transport to those who needed assistance to go to hospitals, even risking themselves of getting the virus. Thank you, Lord, for the compassion of our brethren who continue to accompany a grieving sister of having daily virtual dinners with her to show love and support to her. Lord, this is faith in action by your people. This pandemic is caused by an almost invisible virus which brought the world to its knees. But you bless us with an invisible ally in the Holy Spirit who helps us overcome the challenges that this pandemic brings. So Lord, Thank you for this new generation of people. Thank you for this new generation who is not only willing to pray, but also committed to take action.
Yes, Lord God, we are one with you. We are one with you are in praying for uh, the recovery of Mel Acevedo is in the ICU due to heart um, problem. Well, we pray for the repose of the soul of Sister Jolie Lopez Red Heifer. Um, we please bless our global global CFC family. Uh, this is from CFC Illinois. Thank you, thank you, Lord God, for these for these messages that are offered up to you. Lord, uh, you've been so generous to us, uh, providing for us, giving to us all that we need, even with all these challenges that we face. But Lord, a lot of times we still fall short of your glory. Because as we journey towards you, we know that we have to journey away from something, and that is sin. And yes, it is easy to hate sin that we are not attracted to. So we beg for the grace to help us hate those sins that cling on to us, our, our kryptonites. Forgive us, Lord, for causing you much agony in the garden when we cry out, my will be done. Have mercy on us when we scourge you repeatedly and repeatedly when we give in to our favorite sins over and over and over. Pardon us, O merciful God, when we still crown you with thorns because we crown ourselves king of our lives. Be merciful, O Lord, for the times when we fail to deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow you. Forgive us, Lord, for nailing you repeatedly to the cross because of our selfishness, our stubbornness, and sinfulness. So in the silence of our hearts, Lord God, right now, we would like to take this moment to place at the foot of your cross our sins so that the blood and water that gush forth from your side will cleanse us. And for all these sins, Lord, please have mercy on us. And I know, Lord God, every time we turn to you, you are like the father in the prodigal son. You wait for us, and then you run to us, and then we repent, and you just, you just grant us mercy like that, you know. And we pray, Lord God, that, that we can do the same. Right now, Lord God, please reveal to us just one person. Just one person who may have hurt us deeply, who may have betrayed us. Maybe we have not spoken to this person in many years, you know. Grant us the grace to offer, to offer forgiveness. Maybe it's a loved one, a friend, a brother or sister in Christ. Right now, we ask you as we shut our eyes, Lord God, right now, show us the face of that person that we need to give forgiveness. And after that, show us your face. In fact, no, no, no. Give us a gaze, your merciful gaze, Lord God. So we could be able to have the spiritual, supernatural grace to say to that person, I forgive you. Brothers and sisters, listen to that sweet, silent voice. Because he's asking you to be like that prodigal father. Yes, yes, I, I meant it, the prodigal father. Because another definition of prodigal is lavish. And yes, our Father's lavish mercy abounds more than the prodigal son's sinfulness. So brothers and sisters, beg for that grace. Don't procrastinate. Delayed obedience is actually disobedience. Let go of that unforgiveness and let us be free from this bondage. And if you are ready to forgive... That person that God has revealed to you, just type in the chat box, Lord, I'm free, or I want to be free, I desire to be free, and I want to forgive. It's Lord God, at the end of the day, we, re we will realize if we haven't yet, that it's not all about us. Then it's all about you. It's all about you. <laughs> stripped away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's worth that will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song or a 
song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. Father God, in your call to holiness, you ask us not only to pray harder, but also to take action. It's not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who follow the will of your Father. And Lord God, as we celebrate 39 years of Couples for Christ, oh, what a blessing. Help us open our hearts to continue to, to show generous love and selfless service so we could be able to fulfill the mission and vision of Couples for Christ to build the church of the home and the church of the poor. You know, uh, here in CFC USA, brothers and sisters, we have been so blessed uh, that we are able to take the Ignatian spiritual exercises uh, that was conducted by Father Ed Broom. You know, it's something that really, really touched me. That until now, it just resonates in my heart and I wanted to share with you. In his talk seven, he confirmed he confirmed the prophetic mission and vision of Couples for Christ. Couples for Christ, your, your group is very important. God has placed you in Couples for Christ for a reason. And you're, you're purposely doing the exercise with Father Broom for a reason. This doesn't happen by chance. You're called to work with Christ to save the world. You're called. By forming your own families and using your intelligence, the infrastructure you have, your formation, your education, your profession, your outlets, you're called to save souls. Who knows, maybe it's the couple, the couple for Christ throughout the world is going to be the leaven in the mass, the salt, the light, to bring people back to Christ, and you're in it. Be grateful, but be very humble, but be generous with God. Don't hold back.
So couples for Christ, remain humble, be generous, and don't hold back in our service. Continue to serve whatever it takes. Yes, Lord God, whatever it takes. There's always time to rest when already when we're in heaven, and that's what where we hope we can all have that grand reunion uh, with God and all our brethren in heaven. But for now, let's give our all. We still, you know, after 39 years, we pray for the next 39 years will even be more. We will over. We will have more consolations as as a, as a ministry. And thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the 39 years that you have blessed our our ministry. In, in Matthew 6, uh, chapter 6, verse 8, it says, Your father knows what you need before you even ask him. Yes, your father knows what you need before you ask him. Yes, Lord, we know you listen to all of our prayers and know all that we are going through, especially our fears that are caused by these unprecedented events. You know, you created us. And you know us more than we know ourselves. You already know exactly what we need even before we pray for it. We also know that you are our loving father, our Abba, our daddy, who only wants the best for us. On Father's Day, you are the ultimate heavenly father and happy Father's Day, Father God. So sometimes we think if you know everything, why even pray? Lord, help us realize that prayer actually changes us by putting ourselves in contact with you. Because every time, Lord God, we turn our hearts toward you and we bring you our needs we recognize that you are god and we are not we acknowledge that we can't get us we can't get ourselves out of this pandemic or this social unrest using only our own ways and our own understanding and our own wisdom which in reality is foolishness compared to your own wisdom so help us rely on your power 
on your own strength, on your own wisdom to be able to get us through this. And as we come to this realization, allow us to soften our hearts so we can become more open to receive your mercy and grace. So brothers and sisters, chat box time. You know, if even if he knows everything already, go ahead, write it down. Write down your petitions for healing, whether it be physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual healing that you need for you or your loved one, for your for the daily provisions, you know, for pray for your job, um, you know, the security of your job, your mental, the mental health of maybe people, you know, for your household member, you know, go ahead. Let us humble ourselves before God, you know. Yes, God bless CFC Bangladesh. You know, um, we pray for forgiveness for all our shortcomings. Um, uh, we pray for healing, for full healing for Sister Wiley. Um, come on, brothers and sisters, any any petitions that we have, uh, God is God is listening. God is listening. And more importantly, brothers and sisters, let us pray for something we all yearn for. And that is peace. Father God, with the pandemic fears still looming, the social unrest affecting our whole nation brought about by the fight against violence and racism, especially towards our black brothers and sisters, has caused more confusion, more chaos, more fears and anxieties in an already stressful environment. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to open wide our hearts to respond with peace. That's P, prayer, E, education, A, advocacy, C, conversion, and E, encounter. Let's pray for those who have been victimized. Pray for the, he the healing of those communities. Let us educate ourselves to the the history of racism in this nation and be advocates against prejudices and biases. But more importantly, let's dig deep. Let's dig deep into our hearts and find if there's any biases or prejudices that we have, any racial tendencies that we have. It has to start with us. And he is encountered to be able to encounter and, and learn from those, from stories of those who have been victimized to be able to see and hear their stories. But first and foremost, Lord God, we pray for peace within. Because with all the pain and suffering that many have experienced or are experiencing during this pandemic and social unrest, we pray for the grace of inner peace, the peace that the world cannot give to enable us to stay calm amidst the storms, the trials, the oppressions, the difficulties, fully trusting in the God of unconditional love, the God of divine mercy, the, the God of unparalleled magnanimity. So brothers and sisters, please, 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 please sing with us, less with your voice, but more with your heart, our prayer for peace.
Lord God, we pray for Kat's health, Caleb's ultimate healing, and Carla's appeal. Pray for healing of the whole world. Pray for a young father suffering from multiple sclerosis. Grant him your complete healing. Grant us inner peace and willingness to serve. Give Sal the wisdom to know you. You are the ultimate healer, Lord God. You are also, we ask that you grant us healing, peace in the world, harmony in our families. Pray for true and lasting peace all over the world. Pray for those who are asking for my prayers and for those I promise to pray for, especially to the man who is always in my prayers. No names, but Lord, you know who that is. Lord, let me end where I started. In 1981. Yes, in 1981, we encountered similar events. There was a deadly virus, social unrest due to racism. But guess what? You know, with prayer, humility, resilience, you know, although some issues remain, we pulled through. So, Lord God, I know with your grace, we are confident that we will pull through. But what does it have to do with the 1981 assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II? Everything. Because we pray that we can emulate the sanctity of this man, who is now a great saint, devoted to the most sacred heart of Jesus. And to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, who he attributes to have saved his life from the assassin's bullet. Let us all beg for God's grace. The grace to live a life of holiness. Always prayerfully discerning and faithfully obeying God's perfect will. Not our will, but God's perfect will. In our lives, it is only that where we can have true peace. If we keep away from sin, and if we are in his perfect will. So we can all be together with him eventually in heaven. So dear Lord, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, with the knowledge that these present events are precedented in our lifetime, that this will eventually shall come to pass. Let it be said that during this time that our love grew faster than any virus ever could. That our intercessory prayers, our rosary prayers every day, you know, rosary groups here and there praying every day. Well, these prayers will be transmitted faster than any virus ever could. We pray that we, as an individual, as a couple, as a family, as a community, will not be the same pre-COVID and post-COVID. That our hearts and minds will hopefully be transformed with God's grace, only with God's grace. So we can be powerful instruments 
in God's grand healing and restoration plan that's ongoing right now, brothers and sisters. This grand healing and restoration plan is happening right now. So have hope and have hope, have joy amidst all these storms. And we can truly be families in the Holy Spirit, renewing the new face of the earth. As we pray to our Blessed Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Take care. Be safe. God bless. Be Ah, uh, sing! Praise God. So thank you. Thank you, uh, brother Celine. Thank you, Kiko. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Joe Marie, Patrick, Mike. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in this, in this blessed, blessed time, praising our God. Uh, let's, let's have a shout out to everybody from CFC USA, from all of you there from Manila, from, from the Caribbean. I know you're there as well. A shout out to all of you for, for my family in the Philippines, Candy, Benedict, uh, Nestle, Trina, and your and the little ones. Um, uh, and also um, Almonds and family, my family in the Philippines. God bless you all. Thank you all. Uh, for CFC Manila, again, for all CFC, happy 39th anniversary. Thank you. Thank you all.
Uh, we have some announcements, some announcements. Uh, we have Praise Proceeds Breakthrough. How has worship helped you in your journey through this COVID-19 crisis? Uh, we'd like to be encouraged by your story. Send us a message on Facebook at Online Praise Fest Live. Okay, so uh, also there is um, Bridging the Gap. Is this uh, for dentists? No, 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 no. It's, for, it's actually a worship leader's workshop, Bridging the Gap. It is, wow, it's Rafi, Rafi Urhino, my neighbor in Philam, uh, the, one of the talented uh, Urhino brothers. And I think the, the number one, uh, the first one who started this uh, online process, if I recall. So this is in June 28, uh, 2020, Sunday, 9 a.m. Philippine Standard Time, Bridging the Gap by Brother Rafi Urhino. Okay, and then the next, next online praise fest. Uh, oh, God with us, Emmanuel Aquino. This will be on June 27th. It's going to be special. Saturday again, 9.30 a.m. Uh, that will be June 27th, Emmanuel Aquino. And, and on July 4th, okay, 4th of July, fireworks for God. Uh, this will be, oh, man, this is going to be special. This is uh, Manung, Manung ba kuya? Uh, Dino Badilia. You, we, that's a very familiar name. Uh, okay, that's the, the kuya or the manoy of, uh, of uh, Brother Joe Marie, who's really spearheading. Praise you. God, God bless you, um, uh, uh, Brother Joe Marie. So Dino will be leading us on 4th of July uh, for this online praise fest. So a lot of wonderful praise fest that we're looking forward to. Again, thank you all for, for praising God with us. Kicks, Celine. Awesome job, thank you. Brother Joe Marie.